The chairman of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, Edo State Council, Comrade Festus Alenge, has reiterated his commitment towards continuing the developmental strides he began in the union three years ago when he was elected chairman by the union members. Comrade Alenge stated this during the official flag off campaign of his Edo NUJ chairmanship seat for second tenure and the public presentation of his honorary doctoral award by the Institute of Public Sector Management, IPSM United Kingdom. The current chairman of the union who has transformed the system together with other ESCO members during his first tenure is seeking for the collaboration of members in order to continue with the vision. Whatever you do, first is to pray to God, to use man to help you. Because God cannot come on its own. So right now, all of you here are my helpers. And please help me properly. Don't allow external forces to get into NUJ activities. When I came in in 2021, and I told the people, I said, I am in a hurry to develop NUJ. Everywhere I pass through, even whether I'm still there or not, I want my name to remain. If you go to the National Youth Council today, if you say first and then they will tell you. When I got into the Red Cross as chairman, the place was bushy, it was smelly. But go and check the Red Cross today. And the same thing, when I came here in 2021, people know how this place was. First, let me start from where we are. We are now enjoying air conditioning, is it not? Yes. Those who have been to this hall before, did you see something like that? No. The fan I met here, they said it was whether Midwest region. We changed everything. The fan, Midwest region, the Lugard fan. So, and people now come to rent this fan for use. But those who know how this place was then, you will agree with me that it has changed completely. So we did this. Since I came in 2021, we have painted this building three times every year. So the last floor. The reason is because my environment is clean, therefore my work environment should also be clean. Notable members of the union, including the head, League of Veteran Journalists, Sir Josiah Obadige, Elder Samuel Eboigbe, the general manager of Bronze FM, Mrs. Abimbola Oyetunde, a former chairman of the union, Dickin Raf Ohiria, while speaking, pledged their support for Alenge and urged other journalists in the state to vote for a leader with a vision to move the union forward. It's not easy to lead. But when you have good people that are following you, you will do better. And I am commending his team. He has made it clear to us that we did not invite us to come and say you. But that did not mean that there were no problems. But we saw it. That is the leadership quality that he has. We got to do better and all of us should walk behind him. We God bless you all. I love his work. I love his style. I love his comportment. The man that is not proud. The man that is not selfish. The man that is not assuming. The man that is progress looking. The developmental looking. Next time, I'm very sure Congratulate you once more, the chairman, the people's chair, the performing digital chair, the all encompassing chairman, the best chairman in the whole of Nigeria. I am bold to say this. I am very, very bold to say this. There is no council you will see all these things within three years. I know when I came to Benin how this place was. From the three years down now, I know how it is now. If the changes are 
enormous, unimaginable that we could have this all within a so short time. He even surpassed his manifesto. There is nothing more to do. But this second time, I know a lot that he has for a good journalist. And I pray the good Lord will strengthen you. He will be with you. He will grant you that picture. I'm by your side. I'm at your back. I'm in your front. When somebody is doing well, it will be difficult to say, remove it. You have laid the foundation. For three years, you have done so much. So if it may, it was possible for the Dr. Festus Alenge outlined some of his earlier achievements in the union, which includes the provision of free internet connection at the union secretariat, stable power supply at the center, capacity building, remodeling of infrastructures at the union center, training of journalists, collaborating with government, among other things. When we came, as immediately the governor saw that we were working, he asked me one thing. Say, which area do you need me to support you? The US NSC, we need the lights. What's your more lights? It's in secretariat. What's your more lights? Pastors here. If, so, Mr. Governor, I'm going to check how much to step it down. 13.5 million. And I said, I'll start raising money so I can come and give to you to help us step down the lights. Say, okay, I'm going to do I say I have one million and I'm cash now. <laughs> and I can give you the one million right now. We just said, keep your money, I will connect you. Two months later, what's your money? April 2022, 7th of April. From that day to this moment that I hold this microphone, NUJ, we have not paid one cover for light. And thereafter, boss came. Brand new. So right here is my plan for 2021. One of them is free internet. The first one. Do we have internet here today? Yeah. When I came, there was no toilet in this whole building. <laughs> Up to down. The place they prepared for toilet is used as stall. We removed everything and we installed the toilet. Don't we have toilet today here? Yeah. Compendium. Have we not established compendium here? Yeah. Yeah. First lift of the energy. Are we not painting the premises every year? Yeah. I'm ready to take the bull by the horn. 